respect the flag. That's all I can say. I'm going to show you how to make brownies. Um, I'll zoom in. But anyway, I'm going to show you how to make brownies. You're going to use one cup of flour, two thirds cup double dutch cocoa, half a cup of oil, half a cup uh, powdered sugar, three eggs, salt, one and a half cup sugar, throw in however many chocolate chips you feel like. Uh, minimum of a cup. Alright, so, alright, well, we'll zoom it in here so you can see how to make them. There it goes, zoop, see that? Lovely zoom. Okay. As you can see, I have all my ingredients out. Yes, that is a Bose cutting board. Same ones I use on Hell's Kitchen. Okay, I already put in uh, a cup of sugar. Um, add all your dry ingredients first. So it's a cup of sugar, I mean a cup of flour, and then um, two thirds double dutch cocoa. You could probably get away with regular cocoa, but I use uh, a good quality. As you can tell, all of my stuff I use good quality. Um, powdered sugar, confectioner's sugar, half a cup of that. Alright, then what I would do, and you can even throw your sugar in there, one and a half cup sugar. Then just put it on low and you kind of want to just mix all your dry ingredients together. And then, uh, then uh, you can add your uh, half a cup oil, just regular uh, uh, cooking oil, vegetable oil. Uh, add that vegetable oil, um, and about that much salt. And, uh, you know, once you get all your dry ingredients mixed together, then what you want to do is add all your, uh, uh, there you go. Uh, for taste, you could add, uh, you know, coffee, uh, espresso crap or whatever, if you like the taste of coffee to it. You can add walnuts. I don't like nuts. Uh, I'm more of a titty guy. Uh... But uh, just add everything together, and then, like I say, then add your liquid ingredients, which is your uh, half a cup of oil, vegetable oil, half a cup of vegetable oil. I believe you can see that. <coughs> Corona, Corona, China virus, <coughs> and there's a cat too. So we got to get a shot of a cat. There's Speedy right there. All right, Speedy. It's not going to look. Speedy. He doesn't know his name yet. Hey, Speedy. See? Now if that was Dumpster or uh, the other ones, they would instantly say, yeah. But he doesn't know his name yet. That's part of my fault. Okay, so I added my uh, Earl. And uh, you want to add... Uh, uh, just get it out. Uh, you want to add a little little bit of uh, like a third cheese uh, I can't even freaking talk. Um, uh, two, uh, it doesn't have to be warm but add two tablespoons of water also. But like I say that does not have to be warm, it doesn't have to be cold, just two tablespoons. Doesn't matter temperature. And then add one egg at a time. So I'm going to add one egg now. Mix it together. Obviously. Uh, you can use like a uh, eight by eight pan. Uh, you can go eight by eight, you can go uh, nine by nine, uh, eight by ten, whatever. It doesn't really, doesn't really make too much of a difference. Uh, 
obviously, if you like thick brownies, use a smaller pan. If you like thinner brownies, then use a uh, larger pan. Um, if you want to get fancy, you can put a ganache on it. And uh, I don't have a lot of chocolate chips, <laughs> so that's about all I have. So you want to make sure you add at least a cup. I add them until I think it looks good. I like them really chocolatey and gooey. So we're going to add a little bit. Yeah, hell with it. There you go. How much was that? I have no idea. I was not paying any, paying any attention. And we should be pretty much mixed up. As you can see. And if I remembered all the ingredients, we should be, we should be good to go. All right, I just want to scrape off. And then, and you can see how gooey that is. Um, now, if you want to make them like really a good dark chocolate, when you use your uh, double dutch uh, cocoa powder, you could use like a third cup double dutch and then like a third cup black powder. Um, they make a black cocoa powder. Uh, that would give them really a kind of a bitter sweet darkness. So it really depends on uh, how you like it. All right, I am going to put this in the pan. And then when I pull them out, I'll get a shot of that. And just pulled the, oh yeah, because you cook them at 350. Uh, and I'll even try to remember to put the recipe in the description because somebody keeps complaining because I keep forgetting to do that. Not to mention any names or the state where they're from. Uh, let's see, it's a Mexican state uh, where they're all, uh, oh, can't call them Mexicans. But everybody knows California is mostly Mexicans. Oh, I'm sorry, not Mexicans. They're called, I don't know what the hell they're called. Anyway, Mexicans. Mexicans, South Americans. Uh, I don't think they're considered people of color. Everybody's considered people of color. Everybody has color. So anyway, if you like the video, thumbs up. I should cut one too so you can see how gooey it is inside. I might do that, but anyway, if you like the video, Boom, hit thumbs up. If you want to subscribe, I would appreciate it. You subscribe. Anybody that subscribes, I need to hit a thousand people in order to get paid. Uh, so anyway, thumbs up. Hit the little B in the bottom right hand corner if you want to subscribe. If you subscribe to me, I'll subscribe to you. So anyway, I just appreciate anybody watching my videos. Thanks. Okay. Ron is of uh, chilled a little bit. They're not uh, cold. I mean, not down to room temperature yet. Uh, to keep from little thing here, to keep your uh, from scratching your uh, Pyrex, or if you use a different brand besides Pyrex, um, take your butter knife if it has these ridges. Can't see that worth a shit. How about we turn the light on? Uh, you saw this has these little teeth on there, the little ridges. Um, probably see it better that way. Um, those can actually scratch these glass, so just use it backwards. Besides that, if you have to use a ridge knife to uh, cut your brownies, yeah, your Ellie may clamp it. Yeah, these are going to be really, really gooey. They probably could have cooked uh, another, uh, no, that's pretty good right there. Um, one way to tell when they're done, uh, well, you can't really see, but anyway, when it just, yeah, you can't really see it, but anyway, when it just starts to pull away, I think that's it, yeah, uh, but anyway, if it just starts to pull away from the uh, edge here, if it just starts to pull away, you know they're done all the way through. Uh, this kind of pulled away, but not completely, so another five minutes. It would have been done, and then you could just flip them out onto a uh, plate or whatever. But yeah, these are pretty good here. Yeah. So let me. First one always comes out a mess. Everybody knows that. Can't get around that.
you know, I was getting the same dishes out I do for the cats. They, they did not come running. But when I do it on Saturday, they know it's their time to, uh, their time to, uh, oops. They know it's food day. On Saturdays. And the other time I rattle the plates, they don't do nothing. We're the cats. It's cats, what we do. Okay, like I say, the first one is always, uh, comes out rough. So, yeah. And there you go. Nice, chocolatey, glistening. You can see it glistening there. Um, you know, with the chocolate in it, uh, the chocolate chips, nice, gooey. Uh, could have cooked like it about another five minutes, but uh, the crispiness around the edges is really good. Man, delicious. Gooey, um, gooey, chewy. They look good. So anyway, that's how you make uh, brownies. Gooey brownies. So thank you for watching. And uh, I could beg us, oh, please subscribe, subscribe. No, you want to subscribe, subscribe. You don't, you don't. That's how it is. Anyway, thanks for watching.